Hi, Phil Lindsay here with Peep Magazine. We're here at the Stadium of Light in Sunderland. We're here for the press conference for... It's been a long time coming. Invincible, we've got Dan Cope against Tom Whitfield. Over 10 rounds for an area title belt. Last time, over six rounds, he got edged by a point. In the build-up to then, there was respect. There was respect afterwards. There's respect in the build-up this time. But as I mentioned off-camera before, there does seem to be a bit more intensity with this one. It certainly stood out the, the face-off before as well. Yeah, yeah. We main business on Saturday nights so as simple as that. I'll come to win. That's what we'll be doing, simple as that. Now, the last time you fought uh, Tom, you'd both had two fights. Neither one of you had lost a round up until that point. Yeah, so it was all yeah. on the line. But... Night, even though you didn't get the decision, it was one of those where neither man was coming out a loser no, because it was, it was a... It was one of them, he couldn't have whinged if he got it, you know, I mean if I got it, so he couldn't have whinged, it was, just one, it was one of them fights, it was close, it was a good fight, so I think this one will be even better on Saturday. And a bit of change in your setup. there's been a, quite a few change around within the region's <laughs> box and take like a musical yeah. chairs, isn't it? But, <laughs> So you're not training with your dad anymore, you're now training with Neil Fan and what's yeah. the what's been happening with that? Uh, now trend's gone really good with Lele, he's, uh, he's well, he just you know from Savage Trend champion after champion. And, uh, I'm really pleased that he took us on a lot of people like in the North East wanted to train with them and he would, what, didn't really want no one else, but then he took me now, Peter, so I just can't, can't thank him enough, to be honest with you. And he's, everything's gone perfect, sparring, but he took us all over sparring, like different quality lads, so Everything's gone perfect. Just learning all the time, all the time, every night, every night, learning, learning, learning. I'm a different fighter now, and you'll see on Saturday. Yeah, and obviously this fight being over ten rounds, I think last time out, you, your game plan was it was work rate, wasn't it? It was it was keep it high intensity, and you did that. And like you say, it didn't get the nod, but it almost worked. Yeah. Will you be looking for a similar sort of game yeah, plan with this one? Same thing. Same. Well, t Tom's just going to run, you know. We all know he's just going to hit and run because that's all he does. So that, that's what he's going to do. And then it's up to me to uh, take that away from him, which I will be doing. So with the pressure fighter, ideally the longer rounds would tend to yeah. come in, in, in your benefit because it gives you more time more to try time and close them down. down. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, obviously Tom's a very good boxer, oh, yeah, so you're going to have to be smart with it as well, oh, yeah, you can't yeah. just wade in. He, he mostly got success last time when I was making mistakes, so that was when he was getting success. So. But over a six round fight, you, you maybe yeah, can't be as patient time, as you yeah, want to be, can yeah, you? Yeah, you've got to have plenty of time, and I'm sure it'll come. So, Tom's had one fight since that one, you've had three fights, yeah. I believe? Yeah, three fights, I've won all three. He's only boxed once in about 18, 19 months or something like that, so, and he's been out with a broken jaw. And I think he's had his jaw broke before as well, I think. So, I think so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he has, yeah. So, he's only been six months or something, five, six months since it's been done, so it might not be recovered properly, you know, when you put them little gloves on, you never know, do you? Exactly, so, I mean, this... He should be, he, like, he's... He has more worry about than me. I've been, I've been busy. He's been sat injured, set up, laid up. I can't be training things like that. I've been busy, active training all I'm sparring. Just improving, really improving all I'm. Obviously, with Tom having the setback with the with the jaw, from a boxing point of view, it's got to be one of the worst things because until you actually go in there yeah, with the lighter gloves, it's, it's in your head, isn't it? Where's it going? What's it's going to be, be like? Question yeah. marks. I mean, the, <laughs> from what I've been told, that it was a good break and it's mm. a good heal, which is you know, touch wood. You want, if you're going to win, you want to win for the right mm. reasons, but it's still going to be playing on his mind, you well, would think. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, it will be, will not, because as a heel properly, it hasn't been long enough. You, it's all right when you're in spine, you've got the egg guards on the big gloves. It's different when you get in there, isn't it? Putting the leg ounce gloves on. So we'll find out. My jaw wouldn't take a body uh, shot. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, that, I think that kind of sums it up. I mean, you're, you're still, both of you, it's still fairly early stages of your career. Oh, yeah, exactly. you, like, exactly, first yeah. time round, it was like, you didn't need to take this risk, but... It helped build both of your profiles up. Yeah, well, I think we wanted the rematch since since the first one, you know, and then and then they were saying that I've, then they wouldn't, then they wouldn't, and then, so I don't know why they wouldn't take it before for some reason. But well, they thought they won five with the six rounds last time, but then they would never take the rematch. But I'm glad it's finally happening now, to be honest with you. So and for you just, felt uh, as well yeah. as a pro. <laughs> so just just get some nice revenge on Saturday. That's all I'm looking forward to. And obviously the venue, yep. you and all of the fans are going to travel yeah. all the way up. Yeah, it's a long way. I can't thank them enough. You know, they follow, they follow me everywhere. Everywhere I go, me and now Pete, they follow us everywhere. I can't thank them enough. Well, ever since I started covering boxing on the region, it was obviously in Peter's early days, yeah. and the Barmy Army have been there from yeah, every, then. Everywhere, and still there I can't now. thank them enough. You know, they come every single time. Best supporters, man. Can't beat them. They bring the atmosphere to the shows, and that's it. 
Well, I remember days, asking Pete that early doors as regards to how he gets so many, and it's, he says it, it's, it's not a matter of they're not fans, the friends. Yeah, they are friends. They're fr the friends are all, always in touch with them every day, you know, just just love them, can't, you know what I mean? Well, as long as you're not socialising too much with them in between <laughs> fights, and that's all right. After. <laughs> <laughs> I might be joking, you never know, but Dan Corp, I the most you. handsome Corp man in the world. <laughs> so, any, any tickets left? Say, better looking than them, yeah, yeah, we've got, say, better looking than them, look at the third of him. Clip. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's going to give him a clip. Any tickets left? Yeah, I've still got tickets left, if anyone's tickets and seats on the bus. There so you go. Touch with me. See this man, Facebook, Dan yeah. Cope. Nice, thank you All the much. best, mate. Cheers. Cheers.